just going to contrast and compare the two Yamaha Bobby Shoe trumpet mouthpieces. Uh, it's kind of the shoe versus shoe, the lead versus the jazz model. So I figured I would play the same thing on the same song, but use the two different mouthpieces and see if I can hear a difference. Maybe you guys can hear a difference. So first, I'm going to give a shot with the uh, Bobby Shoe lead. I don't know if you can see that, I'll leave it there for just for a second. And then the next time will be the jazz. Let me see how this plays. I'm just warming up now, folks, so my horn's cold, probably gonna be flat. I don't know. Uh, let's give it a whirl, right? Let's see what happens. Okay, now I'm going to give the Bobby Shoe Yamaha Jazz mouthpiece a whirl. Yeah, I, we're contrasting and comparing the jazz and the lead, and so I'm going to play the same thing on the jazz mouthpiece. The final countdown. So this is nice and cold. Let me just put a few notes through it. Right away, I notice it's bigger. Let's see if there are any high notes on this Bobby Shoe Jazz mouthpiece. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, there are a few high notes on here. It does seem harder to play than the, at least, you know, up around the doubles than the Bobby Shoe lead mouthpiece. Um, it's more open. I can tell my air is going through the mouthpiece a lot more um, wider. So probably better for tone. Let's see. Um, Yeah, seems like it gets a seems like it gets a pretty good sound. Well, let's give it a whirl on the same thing I did on the Bobby Shoe lead mouthpiece. Final countdown.
<laughs> you probably heard it. This Bobby Shoe Jazz mouthpiece plays significantly flatter compared to the lead. Now I had my, my lead pipe adjusted a little bit because it was cold, but uh, I would have to probably spend some time with this mouthpiece and a tuner and get used to it to really play in tune on it. I mean, there's a big difference between this jazz mouthpiece, Bobby Shoe, and the lead. This still probably wasn't perfectly in tune because it was cold when I also started on it, but this was significantly flatter. So you'd have to spend some time, um, like any new mouthpiece, getting used to the intonation issues and getting comfortable where things are. So yeah, um, just looking at the, the bowl and the cup, I don't know if you can see this, but the Jazz is significantly bigger. And I felt like it, I had to work a lot harder and you know what I just played wasn't that difficult. I mean, the final countdown, I mean, doesn't go that high, but I did feel like I was getting out of breath and working harder on the jazz. The lead must have a tighter back pour. You can see that the bowl, there's a big difference in the bowl here. So this one's the lead, this one's the jazz. Uh, I guess for this kind of stuff that I do, I probably would pick the lead. Just because it suits my kind of playing better. Just less effort, very efficient has that kind of bright sparkly sound that I like to get for myself. This guy, probably good for a different style of playing. Um, obviously, maybe you're in a dark corner of a swanky hotel with three or four people and you're playing something like Jazz, yeah, so jazz, um, small ensemble stuff may be good for this Bobby Shoe Jazz mouthpiece. It is a lot bigger than the, than the lead mouthpiece. So this is the jazz, actually the lead, the lead versus the jazz. Uh, my opinion is that I would probably go with the lead, but that's who I am and that's the kind of stuff I tend to play, more commercial stuff. I mean, the higher sparkly, flashier commercial trumpet stuff. Uh, for a second book player in a big band, uh, a trumpet player in a four or five piece jazz ensemble, uh, maybe a couple other things I'm not thinking of, or maybe solo stuff. I mean, this might be perfect, the jazz mouthpiece. So anyway, there you had it. You had a little, a little fight, a little uh, slug fest with the Bobby Shoe Yamaha lead mouthpiece and the Babushu Yamaha jazz mouthpiece.